In the previous lesson of Checklister, we created the tasks for users. So whenever user completes the task, there is a task replicated from the admin task. But now we need to go back to the admin area and fix a few things for admin related to task management. So first thing in the list of tasks, now it shows all the tasks by admin and by user. And we need to filter the user tasks out, so it would show only admin. We go to our tasks table, live wire component, it is live wire component, and we go this checklist tasks where user ID is null. There are other ways to filter that out, but we will use a simple where. Let's refresh the page and it should show only task one, two, or three without duplicates. Great. Another thing related to positions, we don't really encounter the positions when doing the new task creation. So for example, store of the task is all the tasks max position plus one, which means again, it will take users tasks, not just admin. So again, we do where user ID no max position here. And also when reordering, when destroying the task, actually when deleting the task, the position is realigned. And in here as well, we need to filter only admin tasks. Okay, so these are a few quick fixes. Let's try to add another task, task four, and let's see if it appears on the bottom. Save task. Good. And let's see what is the position actually. In the database, task four has position four. Great. So if we delete, for example, task one, let's see if task four becomes with position three. Refresh, position three. Great. And now we get to sortable table. And this is actually buggy. In one of the previous lessons, we created live wire component for sortable and drag droppable of those tasks. But apparently the client reported that it has some bugs. So this lesson is kind of for showing you that in real projects, things don't go as expected from the first time, because quite often I see in online courses, everything is perfectly polished. But here in this checklist or series in this course, I want to show you the real deal because I'm shooting that for real client in real project. So in real life, sometimes you need to change your mind and redo stuff. So in our case, we will scrap the sortable behavior and we will re-implement a bit differently. So the bugs here are first, when it is sorted, then it is sometimes conflicting with edit and delete buttons. So when I click here, should it be click off edit or should it be sorted? Like it's really close here. Also, sometimes when you click, it automatically drag drops. So I don't replicate it now. Yeah, have you seen that small change? So I've clicked here. Yep, that was the thing. So it drag drop, although I didn't actually do that. So with this unexpected behavior, we cannot really fully trust that easy implemented sortable. It worked well, it seems, but it doesn't anymore. So let's implement a different thing. So same live wire, but we will implement arrows up and down to sort one by one. So without drag dropping the whole list, it's just click, 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 and find the exact position that you need for the task. So in our blade component of live wire, we remove wire sortable and wire key here. And also we need to remove wire sortable here. And we need to remove the sortable in our app blade because we don't need that anymore. We had that at the bottom as Alpine live wire sortable script. So we don't need that anymore either. And let's, instead of that, do another column of up and down for now. Let's see how it looks. Refresh. We have up and down, but we will have arrows instead. But instead of loading core UI icons as images every time, we can use HTML icons, HTML symbols, something like up arrow or down arrow. So I found it by Googling and the syntax is up arrow and down arrow, something like this. And let's see how it looks. We refresh and we have beautiful arrows. So each of them will be a link to a live wire event. So a something like this and then wire click prevent prevent will prevent this from happening task up task id and then same thing here actually let's copy and paste here just change the down arrow and task down with an arrow let's refresh it is clickable and probably it will throw an error no, it doesn't because it doesn't work. Oh, of course, I've missed the syntax wire click dot prevent the other way around. 
And now it should try to call the live wire event, which will fail because we don't have that event, that method, I mean. So let's create that task up and task down in our tasks table live wire component. So instead of update task order, we don't need that anymore. We'll have task up task ID. And what should we have inside? Basically, we need to exchange the task with previous task. So task find by task ID. And if we do find the task, just in case we're checking that, then we do task where position equals task position minus one, update with value of position equals task position. So that's the one thing. The previous task is updated to the current position and current task is updated with position, task position minus one, something like this. And let's try it out. Let's refresh the page and let's try to go up with task three and it should refresh and it does. It re-renders the whole table and refreshes and that's exactly what we wanted. Let's do the same thing with down. So task down is almost the copy. You could potentially even have one method for that, but I separated that. So task down is task where position is plus one update to current position and current position goes to task position plus one. But also as in the beginning of this video, we need to work only with admin tasks. So we do where null user ID, user ID and same here where null user ID, so only the admin tasks. So let's refresh and see what happens. Task three down works, even more down works. If we go task four up, works. So we made our sortable actually working without drag and drop, possibly in a simple way, you could say, with less queries to the database, because some of you noted that previous sortable component made a lot of update queries because it updated all the records, all the rows instead of just one. So this is, I guess, a bit more simple way. One more thing I forgot after editing this video, I often actually do it this way. So I shoot the video, I edit that, and then while editing, I notice something and then I re-upload or re-add some portion. So this arrow shouldn't be there on the task number one with position one, and this should not be down. So let's do if statement in the blade, tasks blade, we show up error only if task position is bigger than one and if that's pretty easy right but then how do we do the max position how do we formulate the if statement so if task position and if like this is less than max of tasks but we do have all the tasks here so we can do tasks max position and let's refresh that and exactly as we expected. So this arrow task two, but that arrow is only up and we cannot move the last task down or the first one up.